or ride it, ride it, row. So it's Monday the 13th of August. <coughs> what is going on with my voice? <laughs> Monday the 13th of August, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. And this is diary entry number 27. I'll figure it out and the thumbnail will tell you what it is. Um, anyway, just before we get into this video, I wanted to say it could be a long one. So feel free to watch as much as you want, skip through it, whatever. Um, this is kind of like a, I don't know, an, an update and the direction I want to go next. So feel free to skip through it if you want because I have obviously I have a habit of uh, over talking, don't I? <laughs> talking too much. Um, anyway, the topic of this diary entry is, I've just woken up by the way, that's why I, I sound like this. Because I have an elf today, yeah! So, the topic of this diary entry is, uh, you could call it like, I had epiphany number two yesterday. So, epiphany number one was uh, back in December and it birthed this channel. That's epiphany number one. Epiphany number two I had yesterday was that I was getting a lot of heartburn uh, or acid reflux, one of the two, I don't know. And I thought, it's only since I started this job. Uh, it's quite a dirty job, to be honest with you. It's not, you know, it's not snazzy or, or fancy or anything like that. It's quite a dirty job. And there's a, there's a few chemicals involved. I have to deal with a few a few uh, chemical stuff type things. Um, now, I don't know whether it's down to that, but my mum was like, you know, it could be your diet. And I'm like, yeah, but... My diet was worse before I started this job. Like I was so, what do you call it? Like just junk. Like um, lots of pasta, rice, um, meat. Now I know it's important. <coughs> excuse me, to get a good balanced diet, and you need these things for protein and such. But I don't know what's going on with my arms today. <laughs> But um, I cut back on all that before I started this job and I, I cut myself down to one day a week I would have pasta and then maybe two days a week, two, three days a week I'd have rice with a little bit of meat. Like I'd have, I have my, One of my favourite things to have for my dinner because it's reasonably healthy. I say reasonably healthy, it's probably not that healthy to be honest with you. But it's, it's cheap and it's easy and it's... Um, a packet of rice that you'd bring in the microwave and chop up maybe a quarter of a chorizo mix that in and you've got like a spot on meal for dinner <coughs> excuse me so I like to have that but I limited myself to maybe having that twice a week and pasta once a week so the other time I'd have maybe like a sandwich or Whatever it was about, <laughs> I don't know, whatever it was about. So I'm saying to my mum, you know, I'm like, my diet's better since I started the job than it was before I started. And before I started, I wasn't getting all these like acid refluxy, heartburny problems. So I don't know what's going on. So yesterday, I was sat there and I just kind of, I had, the, I had epiphany number two and I'm like, do you know what I'm gonna do actually? <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to change up my diet like drastically and see if that affects it. But um, my epiphany number two was if I really want to see the change now, like properly in life, then I have to, I have to really do something about it. Um, I want a new job. It's like... I'm, I'm bored of my, my, my job already. I mean, it's not thrilling anyway, but I'm forever grateful for the opportunity. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to quit until I find another job because that's just stupid. Um, but yeah, I want a new job. I'm ready. I'm ready for level two now, you know what I mean? I'm just like, right, you've helped me afford stuff. You've helped me treat myself a bit. And now I'm ready for my next goal, you know? I'm ready for my car now. I'm ready for me for me my next one bring it on so i want a new job um i want to seriously 
get back into the gym properly. So, like, I'm talking at least twice a week for now, you know, just to get me back into a routine. Um, and I'm, I'm like, right, well, if I'm going to do that, then I have to have a, a good diet to go along with it, don't I? I can't just be like, right, I'm going to the gym twice a week and then I'll just continue my, like, sodium-filled diet, you know what I mean? Um, so, I want... I want to. I really want to get back in the gym. Um, like I say, I'll start off twice a week. Maybe Tuesdays and Fridays. Maybe you know, one time at the beginning of the week, one time at the end. See how we get on. But like I said, to go alongside that, I have to change up my diet. So these are all the things that are going through my head yesterday. I'm like, you know, this is like the consistency of epiphany number two. I'm like, right, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I just. I feel like it's like it's time to to. Go to the next gear, you know what I mean? It's time to really go up a notch. So I understand for that, that requires a lot of discipline from me and a lot of um, consistency. Um, so I want to do that. <clears throat> so I really want to make a go of it this time. I really want to be like, you know what? I, what I want to do, my ultimate goal for this, epiphany number two, is much like I started this channel, I want to be, you know, what's the word? I don't know what the word is, but I want to look back on this moment where I decided to change in a few months' time and be like, you've managed it. You know what I mean? Like, I had some time off because I had to readjust once I got this job to life and all this stuff. But, you know, before that, we were setting goals and we were doing them. So I want to look back in a few months on this moment and be like, right, that was the moment you decided that you was going to reach level two and we're on our way to level two. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I want to do. That's like my, you could call it goal number three for this year. Um, goal number two is to get a car. Whether that'll happen, I do not know, but goal number like one and a half <laughs> is to get a new job. Goal number two is to get a car. Goal number three is to look back on this moment in a few months' time and be like, yes, you're looking better. You're doing better. Life is better because you decided to change it. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is like the epiphany I had yesterday. My mind was just like, ooh. <laughs> um, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers recently. You know, not so much big YouTubers, just like smaller YouTubers. A lot of you lot have been watching a lot of you lot. Um, and then I've been watching this guy. It's really weird. I've been watching a lot of, um, what's it called? Farming Simulator videos, right? And I just thought, I wonder what a real slurry pit looks like. So I typed it in on YouTube and I'll come across this guy's channel. Now this guy's got 30,000 subscribers and he's a young farmer. And his videos are just like, you know... It, like full of cool drone footage of him farming stuff like that and i've been watching him and i'm just like you know what you, you're inspiring me <laughs> to, to be consistent with my channel and i'm just like all these things mixed around with epiphany number two and i'm just like i'm ready for like level two you know what i mean so i'm like i want to be at least one video a week consistent with my channel because what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking, whilst I don't have the fancy editing stuff at the moment, I'm going to bring back goals for the week. Because what's what's to stop me setting myself goals for the week anymore? You know, I've got a job, so what? I've had the past two Mondays off. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? <laughs> no! Sorry, do you need much? I'm nine minutes deep in the video. Sorry, do you need much shopping? No. Right, if I just copy these, do you want to go? Yeah. Right. Sorry. Nine minutes deep! <laughs> the downside to doing a diary entry with no editing is unpredictability. <laughs> what was I saying? I've lost my train of thought now. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. something about goals oh yeah so 
you know, for the past two weeks I've had Mondays off. Um, I don't know how long that's going to continue. You know, it's it, basically me and the other guy at work have just been suggesting things, what we want to do with the week and going, you know, he's been like, do you want to do the week this week like this? And I'm like, yeah, why not? So this week I've got Monday and Thursday off, same like last week. So what's to stop me setting myself goals on a Monday again? There's nothing, is there? You know, I had a a bit of a like a, a step back moment yesterday to do with my channel, and I'm like, why have you not been consistent? Why have you not done this? Why have you not done that? You know, you have no reason to have not done that, and you have no reason to to not do it now. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, I've had me a little bit of play time. I've had me a little bit of relaxation time. But now, the, now is the time. If I want to see results, now is the time to get back at it. Now is the time to be like, sort your life out again. You know what I mean? Like, just, just get at it. If you want it, you need to work for it, don't you? It's as simple as that. And I need <laughs> to work for it. It's, it's that simple, you know? I'd really like this as a job. I'd really like to be, you know, like, I said it before, but I'd really like to be creative as a job. So, doing stuff like this, filmmaking, you know, like short filmmaking, stuff like that. Um, I recently found out that I wanted to include travel in that, which I'm excited about. So, you know, if I really want that, I have to really work for it, don't I? I can't just keep going, uh, well, life's busy at the moment, uh, when it's not that busy. You know, it's as, uh, it's as simple as that. It's just me being lazy, in all honesty. So, if I, if I really want to work for if I really want something, I've got to work for it, haven't I? It's, it's that simple. Like, one of my goals at the moment is to get a laptop and potentially a small vlogging camera so that I can up my content, you know, up my content quality a little bit. So, for that reason, I have to work for it at my job. And that means maybe putting in more hours if I can get it or just, just you know saving money that I get from the job so I have to apply that mentality to this don't I and life in general so <clears throat> that's what I have to talk about today I had my epiphany number two yesterday and I'm just like I want this and I want that and I really want you know I'm really determined this time I'm really driven and I'm really like focused you know, it feels it feels like the time to go forward to number two, you know. So, I need to work out how to go about it. I need to work out my my strategy. Uh, because me and, me and the gym don't really have a, a good relationship when it comes to being consistent. <laughs> so, I have to work something out that works for me. I have to work something out with my diet that works for me. I have to, I'm thinking, right, maybe one cheat day a month because, like, I can't do once a week, maybe, because that clearly doesn't work for me. <laughs> that clearly doesn't work for me. So I have to I have to be strict with myself. And what I'm thinking is, uh, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not converting to any, anything or anything like that, but maybe... For my dinners, I'll have to try and do maybe three veggie meals and two meat ones, or two veggie meals and th you know what I mean. So I have to really, I have to really like, what's the word? Shock my diet. That's the word I was looking for, and like really flip it on its head. So, so yeah, I just wanted to, wanted to document this moment because I'm hoping that. Even in like a few weeks time, I'll be able to see a difference and in a few months time, I'll be able to see a big difference. So, that's what I have to say. <laughs> Nearly 15 minutes, I told you it was a long one. So if you stuck through all the way to the end, then I appreciate you. And if there's anything that, um, that I've talked about that, you know, you're feeling like, oh yeah, I'm, re I'm really feeling the same as you then feel free to either let me know on Twitter or in the comments and we will have a chat. So, apart from that, I think that's everything. That's pretty much everything. So, feel free to share it with your friends and family and I will see you when I see you.